Big fucking smiling moose welcome for one of my favorite people on earth. Brian! What's up, assholes? Me if you're fucking lucky. That's right, I'm gay. And by gay, I mean fucking happy to have my asshole around a fucking dick! Oh! Woo! Listen to that shit! <laughs> Speaking of having my fucking asshole around his dick, it's really nice to be here on Rocco's final night. Me and him go way back. And for those of you who don't know, Going way back is a term I use for fucking Rocco in the back of my goddamn grandmother's station wagon. What? I think this is going pretty good. Hey, what's up, Scott? What you doing, man? Stop me if you heard this shit. 99 bottles of beer on the wall. 99 bottles of beer. Take four down, jam two of them in my asshole, one in my mouth, break that fucking fourth one on the ground, pick up the shards and sprinkle them in my goddamn dick hole. 95 bottles of beer on the fucking wall. No, but seriously, uh, this night's about Rocco. I gotta say, me and him went out to the Olive Garden the other day. He had the uh, unlimited tossed salad. I had the unlimited fagioli. We ordered some food. We got to talk and he tells me, hey, Brian, I'm thinking about going up to New York City. I say, oh yeah, New York City, I just got back from there. I went up for that big uh, hot dog eating contest. He said, oh yeah, Brian? What place did you come in? I said, Rocco, I came in every fucking place within 500 meters of my goddamn cock hole. That's right. All right, it's Rocco's night, but you're doing this too, man. Roll, roll, roll my throat. <laughs> Gently down a stream of your piss. <laughs> Woo! Merrily, 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 merry life is but a dream. Isn't it? <laughs> no, but anyway, actually, it turns out Rocco was talking about this uh, Coney Island hot dog eating contest. Down, uh, sponsored by Nathan's Hot Dogs in New York. So I said, you know what, that sounds kind of interesting. I'm going to check that out. I get home, I, I like ghost that shit. Turns out there's this uh, guy named uh, Kobayashi, this Japanese kid, claims he can eat 60 wieners in 12 minutes. Three minutes later, I'm on a fucking plane to Japan. <laughs> I find this guy, knock on his fucking door. Hey, Kobayashi, get out here. You tell me your fucking techniques, you bitch. <laughs> he says, uh, Brian, I, I don't speak English. <laughs> I say, you don't fucking speak English? Well, guess what, Kobayashi? I don't speak fucking horse, but I'll guarantee you, Barbaro knew what the fuck I was getting at when I paid him a fucking visit. <laughs> That's right. You think those fucking legs broke themselves? <laughs> But well, anyway, push comes to shove. Ten minutes later, I got Kobayashi speaking English like he's the goddamn Queen of England. He says, uh, yeah, here's what I do. I uh, grab as many wieners in my hand that I can hold and bite those things viciously, trying to swallow them up. Then I dunk the buns in some water and chew them three at a time. I says, so you choke down a handful of wieners while chewing on wet buns? I'm sorry to let you in on this, but Kobayashi, 
I broke your fucking record on my junior prom night. Oh, yeah, that's right. But anyway, like I said, I know Barbaro. I, I got a lot of celebrity friends. In fact, I just flew back from Ellen DeGeneres' wedding. And boy, is my asshole tired. Seriously, it is fucking tired. But uh, I actually gotta say I was a little disappointed because I went down there thinking that Ellen DeGeneres is gay. I get there, I was like, yeah, Ellen ain't gay. I seen him making out with girls all fucking night. <laughs> But hey, I'm Brian, I'll make the best of any situation. I met a lot of other guys. Uh, Richard Hatch from Survivor was there. Lance Bass. I met that guy, uh, Neil Patrick Harris. We did it fucking doogie style all night. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyway, I gotta say, uh, the coolest celebrity I met there was that guy, uh, Jared from Subway. Yeah, he's a good guy. And I punched in his fucking dick till three in the morning. And I wiped my ass off with his fucking extra tit skin. And I gotta say, I worked up a bit of an appetite. I said, hey, Jared, uh, I'm kinda hungry. You got any connections with that fucking hoagie store you used to deal with? He says, yeah, actually, we're running a brand new promotion. Five dollar footlongs. So yeah, five dollar footlongs. I don't know if that's brand new, uh, Jared. Because <laughs> I gotta tell you, I've been selling five dollar footlongs at the subway since I was fucking twelve. <laughs> Incidentally, that's how I met your boy Rocco. <laughs> oh, but anyway, they told me to keep it tight. That's a joke in itself, but I'll, <laughs> I'll end on this last little bit. So I'm squeezing this guy's scrotum in my fucking fist! <laughs> yeah. Sure. Yeah, okay. Okay. There you go, sir. <laughs>